Welcome, my name is Andrew Swaby. As always, we will play through it once and then we will break down the most challenging sections. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. So we're in the key of A flat. All right, so this song starts out on the one. All right, um, it's a bit arpeggiated, so you have to roll into it. Um, on most occasions, they would use the organ to play this, so everything would be um, more sustained and more connected. But you can also play this with the piano and, you know, just give it a bit of um, rhythm and feel and add some, uh, some emotion to it. All right, so Jesus and Jesus. All right, so here... For the one, by the way, I have in the left, A flat, E flat, A flat again, um, but I have very big hands, so I can stretch all the way up to the C with my left, so I have um, 
from A flat to C, all right, in my left for the first chord. So while I'm rolling with my right, all right, this, my left hand is covering all the, um, the chord that I need. All right, so I'm just finishing that with um, the actual A flat major chord. All right, so. All right, so in my right, I have E flat, C. And then all I'm going to do here is lower this uh, this A flat to G. All right. So now we have that major seventh. All right. And then we're going to drop that to get the seventh. All right. So that's a dominant seventh feel. So on the F sharp, you can also drop um, the third to the to the second in the right. So in all, I have in my left E flat, sorry, A flat, then E flat, G flat, and C. And then I also have um, in my right E flat, A flat, sorry. E flat, G flat, B flat, and then E flat. All right, then I resolve on the one. Um, then we go to the four. I'm doing that same stretch in my left. All right, but if you can't stretch, you can definitely um, glide over. So from C sharp or D flat um, to A flat. And then to F and in my right I have C and A flat all right so again from the top at this in inversions I'm simply playing um, the one two back to the one but I'm playing one over four all right so it gives us that um, D flat seventh all right and this would feel like an added ninth to go to what's this um d flat minor six all right so in my left i have d flat or c sharp i have e um a flat and b flat all right and i'm mirroring that in my right hand All I'm going to do is drop this pinky down to C and in my right I'm simply going to play the one chord so all right see that that main all right so on that three I have C a flat B flat E flat a flat and C again all right um for the turnaround all right so again same inversions we're just going we're just um taking this melody and we're adding harmony to it all right and then so in my left for for that drop I'm adding in my left I have E flat and A flat and I'm simply going to drop down to G all right in my right I have 
E flat and I'm going to slide up to C from B all right so while I'm holding in my left while I'm holding um, a flat I'm also sliding up to C all right and then when I would resolve on that B flat my left hand um, goes down to G all right Instead of going back to the one here, you want to go to the uh, major six here. It's a uh, dominant. All right. So this is the dominant seven four F. So in my left, I have F, I have C, and I also have. Um, e flat and then in my right I have C E flat F A and C again and then you can arpeggiate this yeah that's something like that um, then we're going to take the melody again and harmonize it so, so like the fragrance. All right, I'm on the two with my left hand, so I'm on B flat. I'm on F, and I'm also on A flat. All right, and then after. Um, this is simply the major second all right so it's still B flat but we're going to um, invert it and add the dominant seven all right with the ninth so now this becomes um, B flat dominant seventh and I'm adding the ninth after the rain so so all right and then you're going to take it to um, F sharp so let's let's do that again so sharp I have in my left well <laughs> I'm going to say G flat um, in my left I have G flat and D flat um, and in my right I have F and I have D flat all right and I'm going to harmonize that melody again okay so didn't cover this tritone right here so in my left I have E and I also have B flat um, in my right I have D flat G flat and B flat all right then we're going to go to um, in my left I'm at D, um, E flat and D flat to get that dominant feel I simply have um, a C sharp triad and you can definitely make that bigger over in one um, so I could go all right and then um, there 
is a run coming out of that which is um a diminished seventh but we also we're going to include um the second as well so coming up out of this we're not going to resolve our resolve is going to be on the diminished run so all right and then we're just going to take that up so it sounds like this all right let's do that again so the notes are d flat e flat e g b flat and d flat all right and all i'm doing is um carrying over my my hand all right so my left is going to always hit um the first two notes so that's d flat and e flat all right and then make it even all right it may come with a bit of practice all right and you don't have to do it that much you could have just gone all right and that would be sufficient all right so and then back to it I think I rushed that a bit, so Jesus, Jesus, G, then dominant six, remember this from before, and then we're going to go to the four, same, only thing is, the only difference is on proclaim, we are going to go to um, a regular F major chord, all right, and then so how I'm um, framing this is in my left I have C, F, and A. In my right I have C, F, A, C, right, um, and then I'm going to descend, all right, like this. So proclaim. I have this C major, um, this C dominant seven chord. All right, so the C seven here, and then um, going back to that F major, but we're going to do this in first inversion because instead of starting here with the bass note starting here on the third all right however um we're adding the ninth so in my left i have a f and g in my right i have that regular f major triad with the added um c all right so it sounds like this proclaim So kings for kingdom we have kings and kingdom we're going to walk down the diminished seventh from a to f sharp or to g flat to the second with in my right I have the one chord over the second so shall all pass away all right 
we once saw that. So in my left, I have B flat and F along with A flat. And in my right, I have E flat, A flat, and C. And I'm going to keep my left hand and I'm going to go to a B flat minor. And I'm going to go between those two. So forward, pass, uh, and then away, we're going to make the second become a major chord. All right. So in the left, again, we covered this chord earlier. Um, I have D, A flat and B flat, along with C, F and B flat. And then, but there's something. Okay, so let's do that again. But we have G diminished seventh with um with a b flat so we are rolling up to that b flat there's something and that's going to the two chord again so while i'm on f diminished self i'm rolling up to c and then something. Um, in my left, I have E and uh, B flat. In my right, I have D, E, G flat, B flat, and D. Before going, so this is a passing chord before going to the five. And I'm keeping the melody in my right. So that's C, A flat, E flat, over um, E flat and D flat. That A. So there is this movement that they did. Okay. So it's um, with my left, I'm walking down to the G flat. So from the A flat to the G, to the G flat. All right. So, but in my right, I'm going to go up. They refer to this as um, contrary motion because both hands are going in different directions. Oh. All right. And then this is that, that same um, D flat minor six. And you can arpeggiate the notes of it. All right. So that's it. Um, traditionally, there would be a, a turnaround at the end. But there's so uh, there's something about so about five. Then something. All right. So that three chord I have in my left C, E, and B flat. In my right, I have E flat, B flat, and E flat in the top. And then to the six. just going to be satisfied with um, a major sixth which is G sharp <laughs> I said G sharp <laughs> which is F um, dominant so
that is it. Now, remember, the goal is not to be the best in a day. The goal is to become better every time you play. So hey, if you like that one, check out the next one. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and let's be better together.